Uh, it's about your average size. So. I've got him. Oh, oh you dropped it. Oh, I think that's that. dropsies, mate. Six all. That's dropsies. So I'm just going to let you know, he's going to use every excuse today to say I've got an advantage. I was being nice. <laughs> I was being nice. It's called a handicap, mate. <laughs> Oh, what's better on flatties, hard bodies or soft plastics? It's a no-brainer for me, hard bodies. Definitely soft plastics. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Except when you're using a loco board. Oh yeah, okay, well you don't get to today. So he's that convinced that soft plastics are better. Yes, soft plastics catch a lot of flathead, but I tell you what, I don't know, I, this last year or so, I've caught more on hard bodies than anything else. So we're gonna put it to the test, we're gonna fish the same water today, uh, it's actually obviously not apples with apples because the skill levels are very, very <laughs> different, aren't they? I can't help it. Right? <laughs> so we're going to test them out today. We're going to throw some different lures. The first one I'm going to throw here is the Realist Jerkbait 120 SP. You've probably seen me use it before. Shallow diver. Rodney, what are you using? Got some sort of uh, soft I've got plastic? Biwa. It's the new Biwa curly grub. Hey guys, just a quickie. Watch out for the code at the end of this video. Put it in the comments below and we'll send the first 10 people a free loco prawn from Attic Tackle. Why is it always a competition, eh? As soon as you get two blokes fishing on a boat, yeah, yeah, it always turns into a competition. Let's You're going down, bro. Let's do it. But I'll show you exactly how I'm fishing this hard body. So, nice and shallow edges here. I'm gonna cast right over. And if you see weed, don't avoid it. Cast over the top of it. I'm gonna work the lure down a little bit. A couple of hard twitches and I'm going to pause it. And it's nearly nine times out of ten, those flathead will come up out of the weed and they'll smack it on the pause. A couple more twitches, pause. And you can pause for a long time, like literally five, six, seven, eight seconds. Now, talk us through your technique, mate. Okay, so I'm using a quarter ounce jig head, a three inch soft plastic on. And it, because it's a curly grub, I normally give a couple of twitches on the way up just to get that tail going. Uh, if I'm using a paddle tail, I'm doing more of a hop. That's just my technique, um, that's what works for me. One of the advantages to Rodney fishing this plastic right now is he's actually covering a lot more water. Because I'm really only covering one to maybe, well, from virtually a few inches of water down to maybe a metre, and then this lure is, is pretty high up, right, in the water column. Whereas Rodney, using a soft plastic, we're in 1.8, he can fish it all the way to the boat. So there is a distinct advantage there in using a soft plastic and keeping it close to the bottom. The only other way for me to do it is to put another hard body on with a, a bigger bib that dives a little bit deeper. But for now, I'm just gonna keep working that edge because that's where I reckon they're gonna be anyway. So I'm just gonna let you know, he's gonna use every excuse today to say I've got an advantage. I was being nice. <laughs> I was being nice. It's called a handicap, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fish, fish on. Hey! Only a small tacker. Soft plastic. Soft plastic. Okay, that's only one. One nil. One nil. All right, we heard you the first time, mate. <laughs> All right, we'll get him back in. There you go. <laughs> The crazy thing is, hey, like, it's a reasonable size lure. They have no fear, do they? No. Oh, there we go. Quick release. Good release. Now, well, that's two legal fish, one each. But you do have an advantage. What's that? You got 14 hooks on your lure. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> well, yeah, but you still got to get them to eat it. I've had a couple of real tentative bites. Yeah, I got a couple just off there, that one then. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> two one. Two, two, it doesn't well. matter. Well, seriously? Seriously? We'll still count it. Yeah, really? Okay. You can count that. And right. look at that. He's a little fella and he's engulfed. Oh lure's gone. He's engulfed the lure. Look at that. Right down his gob. And he's only a little fella. 
So are we counting legals or we're we just counting all fish? Oh, well, we didn't set any rules about legals. Oh, or not. right. Yeah, that'd be probably spot on for you, wouldn't it? I'm sure the word was just flooded. Yeah. I reckon you should be rewarded for big fish. Okay. Anything over 60? 60? Anything over, okay, all right, no, 60. No, 50, no, 50. Nah, 60, Anything I was gonna say 70. Anything over two points. Everything over 60 is five points. Five points, okay. Got this in the bag. <laughs> now that's the cool thing about chasing flatties. You get them a foot long and then at any moment you could get one as long as your leg. It's crazy. The holy grail. Still chasing that metery. Meter. It'll come. So a bit of a change of tactics. The shallows, well, we've got three fish, but they weren't really producing. So we've come to some deeper water. At the moment it's four metres, but along this stretch here it'll get down to about seven, eight metres. And we saw a little bit of bait on the sounder. Now, obviously this is soft plastics versus hard bodies. Now, <laughs> the lure I've got in my hands here is Rodney's, he's Rodney's favourite lure of all time. And I guess, is it a hard body? Yeah, well, I guess it is. It is. It's a metal vibe. So I guess that's considered a hard body lure. Uh, well, I am today because these locos are loco. Like the amount of fish that this bloke's caught on these loco prawns is just ridiculous. Now, normally I'd be using a little Zeric fish trap, but I guess they're soft plastic, right? Which I'll be using. Which, <laughs> all right. I got a fish. I got a fish. And I accidentally put in my son's raincoat today, which is just like four sizes too small. But anyway, oh, it's a little trevally. Goodness me. There you go. Little Trevor. But it's still a fish though. <laughs> but it is about flathead, isn't it? Flathead today. So, yeah, okay, all right. It's a little baby GT. When they're juveniles, well, they're small like this, GTs will have a little bit of yellow on their tail, but a proper yellow tail trevally, that whole tail would be yellow. That top part there would not be that gray, black color would definitely be yellow. So that is a juvenile GT. And they love coming up in these estuary systems in winter, because it holds a lot of bait up here. And they will love the look. Oh, they do. Everything goes loco for the loco. See you, mate. Not what we're looking for. It's almost cheating now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, come on. You're just biased on this loco business. I think it's almost cheating. I kind of feel the same way with the fish trap sometimes. They're a very similar lure, really. Rain, the rain's got us. I didn't bring the right jacket, I'm freezing cold. Oh my gosh, part two another day. Whew. And we're back. <laughs> the rain's gone, it's a few days later. I've got a beautiful, beautiful winter's day. And Rodney and I are back on the Tweed River. Soft plastics versus hard bodies. We know who's gonna win. Well, it's two all at the moment, if we <laughs> count all speed. It's two one. I've got, got, got a Trevally. Is that count? Well, it just depends. What if, well, what if you got a big Trevally like that? Would it not count? Well, I'm sure it was a flathead challenge. Oh, well, anyway. We're doing all right. Hopefully we find some nice fish today and I can prove once and for all that I'm the champion. That I was gonna say you're something else, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Plastics versus hard bodies continues. So this is a little spot that Rodney and I fish or have done for quite a few years. We always get flatties here, but this tide is so low that the advantage I think in fishing this guy is that you can pretty much fish any depth and rather than twitch down, so if I cast out and I get this lure down, the other way of fishing it is I can twitch it up and just gets the nose of the lure up and it doesn't dig in as much into the mud. And I'll let it float a little bit and a couple little stabs. So rather than digging it down into the mud, I can just, just keep it just over the top of it by twitching upwards. Oh, there is one. 
Yeah, yeah flatty. Oh no, what was that? Was that a flathead? Oh, I dropped him. Dropped him. How did they miss? Nine hooks. Oh, I dropped him. That would have been the... That was a good fish too. So you can see how well this thing suspends. So I twitch it like that. And then it just sits there very slowly rises. I twitch it again. And it gives those flathead the opportunity to come up and snaffle it. They love it on the paws where it's just slowly rising. These are deadly on... Um, Barra money too, just quietly, but uh, I just love fishing these edges. Drop, fish off. <laughs> now, there's a disadvantage. You've got one hook. I've got yeah, nine. You got nine. I got nine. That, obviously, a pretty good sign when you see all the birds walking the flats. There, there's so much micro bait in here. Hopefully we'll find some feeding fish at some point. Oh my God, look at that. The wallaby. You don't see that every day. He's going up, up current. You're never gonna get across, he's gonna drown. Or get eaten by a bull shark. No, he's just trying to swim faster. Go around him, you want to get right up against him. He's trying to swim against the current, he's never going to make it. You don't see this every night, don't you? Ah, he's only a little fella. Hang on, mate. Here we go. Okay. Hold still, mate. Hold still. All right, take us over to the shore there, Rod. I'm going to help you, little fella. Alright, so every day you catch a wallaby in the Tweed River. <laughs> Alright, you ready? You're gonna be okay. Up you go. Good boy. <laughs> He'll work it out. There, there he goes. goes. There he goes. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Got him in the shallows. Mate, how shallow is it in there? Got the net. Don't lose it. No, I'm not going to lose Don't it. Don't lose it. No, I'm going to net it. Don't even bother. Just lift him over. It's not even a big one. Bloody point. net it. Yeah, it is a point. I'm falling behind. That is a nice fish. Yeah, that's a legal fish. Nothing wrong with that. I love that tail. That yeah. beautiful blue tail. Gorgeous little fish, mate. So what's that's flathead number two for you, isn't it? Number three. Two yesterday, mate. Oh, yeah, got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. I don't think so. It's a flathead, hooked in the tail. No, he's hooked in the head. I got him. I got him. I got one. I got one. I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Mine's a bit bigger. Three, two. Mine's a bit bigger. It's got to be good. It's got to be prizes for size, surely. What am I? We discussed over 50, didn't we? Three, two. Again, in the perfect depth of this lure though, like, you know, we're working from 600 mil down to about 1.4, 1.6 metres, and that's why that lure works in this spot. Rodney does have the advantage when we get in the deeper water, that soft plastic can work it all the way to the bottom, and obviously being a bottom feeding fish, makes sense. Yeah, found a little hole of them. Oh, look how small, we can't even count that. That's, that's legal. That's not legal. Look at yours and look at mine. In Ghana, so, that's legal. So, so is this an argument that hard bodies catch bigger ones or what? No, because the one I got before this was about that size too. So. No, it wasn't that size. It was but a little smaller. Look at him it. Yeah, he right. smashed it, didn't he? That's a long lure. It's right down the back of his throat. Yeah. Well done, mate. There's another advantage, I guess, to the single hook. Is it's a lot easier to get the hooks out of the fish, isn't it? Oh yes. <laughs> I'm still going. 
Here we go. Oh, yeah. I think I got him. Beautiful. All right, buddy. Thanks very much. Off he goes. All right, let's see if we can find a bigger one. Touch the leader, fish in. Bob's your uncle. We'll spot lock us again. I just gave you 10 minutes. <laughs> Glad I'm not touching too much. Yep, there he goes. For all. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Landed on his head. Oh, look at the size of it. It's a monster. You can't count that. Oh, right, oh, whatever. So I don't think there's been any advantage either way. No, We're fishing the same depth of water, catching one after the other. I think really both are working fine. Yeah. It comes down to personal preference, maybe. It definitely does. This, to me, this should be flatted right here. Should be flathead central. That's good fish. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> Thought it was a good one. Come back. Oh, touch the leader. Counts. Counts, I touched it. Your leader's I touched, I touched the leader. What's that for all? Five, uh, five, five all. all. Oh, oh dropped him. Dropped him, Rodney. Oh, dropsy drop drops. I couldn't load up because your head was there. Didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> Didn't want to. <laughs> oh, listen to it. Yeah, my fault. Oh, I'm on, I was on the phone. Oh, yeah, nice flathead. <laughs> Ah, uh, nah, should be able to just touch the leader. And takes the lead! Yes! Ah, <coughs> oh, that's a cracker. I'll just see if Cam's still on the line. He's still there? So, here I am on a phone call, and uh, I pretty much stopped working the lure completely. So, he was just sitting there. Flathead in shallow water will literally come and eat it off the surface. Got every hook in him, known to man here. All right, I should be able to just flick him over the side now. There, buddy. Rodney's on. Hey. Oh, you dropped it! Look at my leader, how long it is. Oh! It all the way down there. Oh, I think that's that. dropsies, mate. Six all. That's dropsies. All right, if we counted my dropsy, then we'll count your dropsy. Six all. Oh. Hey, seven, six. It's a last minute fish. No! Leader. <laughs> <laughs> he touched it with his foot. Yeah, look at the size of it. Jeez, you're good at catching the small ones, though, aren't you? did. Another legal fish. We've certainly got a feed today if we wanted one. And he's on. Oh no. And oh yeah, it's a nice one too. That's good. Eight, six. I like how you count them before you even get them in. Right. Don't stuff it. Don't Lead stuff up. it up. Lead okay, well that's where we're going to finish the show today. <laughs> yeah, another legal one. It's a good fish. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Skull drag it. You can't count it. Touch the leader. It's about your average size. So. I've got him. Ah, oh. oh, you dropped it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Eight seven. I'm coming for you, mate. So is it what is it? First to ten or? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I'm back, baby. I'm back. I am back. Watch out you don't drop it. I won't drop it, mate. Touch the leader. Leader's touched. And it should just drop off. Uh, one hook. I'll see if I can just quickly flick him off. What's that, Rod? Nine, eight. No, it's not. Nine, eight. I've caught up to you now. It's nine all, oh, if nine, anything. Eight. Gotcha. <laughs> I shouldn't even ask, because I know you're going to scare me. Nine all. We're getting close. 
So this is it. This is game point. You get one more flathead, you win. Oh, gotcha. Oh, 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 oh. He actually started swimming away with it in its mouth. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Oh, oh you don't. I swear I got him. He started, oh, he, he started swimming away with it in his mouth and then he's gone to yours. Get off. Get out of there. I swear he picked it up and started Really? No. Yes. No. Don't. No pressure. No pressure. What do you reckon I could do at this end while you're doing that? <laughs> oh, look at the size of it. Touch the leader. I beat Mark Berg. Yeah, congratulations. So, the question is, are soft plastics better than hard body lures? Now, obviously, I've only just used these hard bodies. Um, there's vibes that you could consider hard body. We didn't do any trolling. No. Um, you know, there's a stack of those. What are those, uh, the Zerich ones that we kill them on? on Fish the, No, the hard bodies that we troll with. Oh, the tango shads. Tango shads. Brain like a sieve. Tango shads, didn't use any of those. And trolling, you can pick up a lot of fish. I'm a hard body guy, I love it. But I will say this, the versatility of a soft plastic, yes, definitely. It's, it does make a difference, doesn't it? Hell yeah. You're, you're fishing, consistently fishing any depth of water. Yep. Whereas I've got to adjust, change lures. You're limited to... Keeping in that zone. Yep most of the time. So what we'll do now is we're going to sit down and show you guys our favourite hard body lures for flathead and our favourite soft plastic lures for flathead and uh, then we'll go, I'll shout you a meat pie mate for winning. <laughs> yeah, shout. Okay, very quickly guys, going to run through the lures that we love using. I'm the hard body guy, he's the soft guy. You're a big softy, aren't you mate? I am. <laughs> Alright, now I'm not going to go all the way into big swim baits. I love using the big swim baits, but I'm talking more about smaller hard body lures that um, that I use chasing flathead, and they're all pretty shallow divers. This guy here is the Defiance, Zurich Defiance. Uh, love this lure on the barra, but also love them again on the flathead. Uh, all of these lures are either slow rising or suspending lures that I fish over the weed beds or in the on the flats. Um, there's another one there. Just a slightly different colour, but I do tend to go towards white. White works, yeah? All the time. I don't know what it is on these, um, I mean obviously, the more you use a particular colour, the more fish you're going to catch on it anyway. But I tend to think that the white work really well on flathead. Um, a couple of the other little duos that we've been using, that's the Realis Jewel um, Jerkbait. This is the 100 SP, and I've been using the 120 to catch the fish today. So that's... Um, Again, sensational hooks, really, really sharp. You don't lose a lot of fish. Um, then there's also the Barra X Pro. I often use this guy. He's a, it's a great lure. Um, the hooks are quite thick, but on a real big flatty, that's not a bad thing. Uh, that does all right for me as well. And one thing we didn't touch on is the trolling. Now, obviously, um, one of the lures that's pretty much won the uh, Flathead Classic a million times is the Zeric um, Tango, shad. Tango Shads. They do exceptionally well, but also if you're in a bit of deep water, these Realis Jerkbaits 100DR, so that you can see the bib lure there. These get down on those edges and the flatties absolutely love them. So they're my go-to lures uh, on a daily basis when chasing flathead. I mean, the session we just did, how many did we catch? It was it 17, 18 yeah, fish 18, 20, in a couple of yeah. hours? Yeah. So now, so soft plastics. My favorite, so my top five. Um, love that profile. That's in the Mustad Mazashi. I think it's called a Z tail or a T tail. It's just got that little ridge That's on the sexy tail there. Off. Yeah, I think when you when you hop it, it sort of vibrates a little too because of the shape of it. Oh. Yeah, that's why I like. What about it. color? Does color um, matter? Color? Yeah. Look, I do. I do like using whites as well. Obviously. Um, I think your theory is right with that white belly on the flathead. And yeah, because the flathead are carnivores, they'll eat other flathead, and I often think on those big swim baits, when they're white, it looks like the belly of a flathead, but anyway. Um, the other one I really like to use is the bolts, um, and that's in the three inch. 
or three and a half inch um, this time of year, but coming into spring, when the bigger fish are around, I do pull out the four inch ones. They're all pretty small, really. They are, they are quite small, but you know, um, even 30 centimetre fish will engulf that all the way down near gone. I guess a, um, well, even bigger than 30 centimetres. Um, I guess, you know what they say, elephants eat peanuts. That's the old saying. And you want to match the hatch too. If the bait fish are that size. Yeah, well, this is one I really like to fish. So what this is, is the, um, the Molex RT Shad three and a half inch. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites to fish. Um, Why is that? It's, it's got a real lifelike profile. Yeah. And, you know, when they're feeding on a little herring and things like that in the river, that's the one I, I would generally pull out. Now, one thing I've noticed, Rod, you've, got, you've mainly gone paddle tails. Yeah. What about curl tails? Uh, I do, they all work, right? They, they do, they do. Um, if I'm using curl tails, I'm normally, normally using them on a real light jig head and fishing them a lot slower. Okay. Because um, the action beds. is so incredible. Yeah, on top of weed beds. That's normally how I'd fish the curly tails. Uh, but sand flats and any other place, I'm fishing paddle tails. Paddle tails. Yeah. Congratulations, you won this time round, mate. Of course I did. Congratulations. Of course you did. You won by a couple of fish, mate. Couple of fish, but that's okay. I'm a hard body guy. And I'm a soft plastic guy. You're a big softy. But at the end of the day, what's better? Well, it's personal preference, it's your skill level, it's what you feel comfortable fishing with. And uh, that's just how it is. It is. Don't forget their code. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't forget your code. The code to win a free Loco Prawn. First 10 to put it in the comments, your code is Loco. Just got to put it in the comments and we'll send you out a free Loco Prawn. See you next time. See you next time for the win. Shout out.